Entering the new year 2023, the U.S. Army, U.S. Army, is about to announce the winner of the optional manned combat vehicle, OMFV, program to replace the M2 Bradley IFV, infantry fighting vehicle. The U.S. Army will select two vendors as finalists to build a total of 14 vehicle prototypes for further evaluation. It is known, M2 Bradley has been in operation since 1981. This vehicle is lined up to transport infantry troops on the battlefield, provide fire support, or destroy enemy combat vehicles. There are four candidates for this OMFV program. They are Oshkosh Defense, Hanwha, Base Systems, General Dynamics Land Systems, GDLS, and American Rheinmetall Vehicles, Raytheon, Rheinmetall. Previously, on March 29, 2019, the U.S. Army issued a request for proposal to the industry for the OMFV program. The requirements set include that the vehicle must be aggressive and can be moved by air using two C-17 transport aircraft. Lastly, Oshkosh Defense partnered with the Hanwha Defense USA company, proposing a Redback-based combat vehicles made by South Korea's Hanwha. The Redback is a new South Korean infantry fighting vehicle, IFV. It was developed by Hanwha Defense. The chassis was rolled out in 2020 and this new IFV with turret was first publicly revealed in 2021. The Redback is equipped with a Samson turret made by Rafael Israel which is armed with a 30mm cannon. The cabin accommodates a crew of three and eight infantrymen. The Redback is an advanced, well-armed and well-protected vehicle. It could be among the most protected IFVs in the world today. It weights a whooping 42T and could be classified as a heavy IFV. Armor of the Redback was developed in cooperation with Plassen. Hull and turret provide all-round protection from 30mm armor-piercing rounds. This tracked vehicle was designed from the start to survive mine blasts and improvised explosive devices. It withstands blasts equivalent to 10 kilograms of TNT anywhere under the hull or under any track location. Crew and passengers are seated on blast energy absorbing seats. The Redback was also designed from the start to be fitted with Israeli Elbit's Iron Fist Active Protection System. It defeats incoming anti-tank rockets and missiles. The Redback uses an unspecified engine, though developers claim that it is a proven unit. The Redback has an advanced suspension which does not use torsion bars. This allowed to free up more space in the interior for advanced mine blast suppression systems.